Hey folks, today we're working on this uh, 2,500 gallon water tank that we got. Uh, this was a find on um, Facebook Marketplace and uh, we were able to get a good deal on it because it had a hole in it. And to be honest, at the time that we purchased it, we did not know uh, for sure if the hole could be fixed or not. I kind of suspected that I could do something with it, whether that be JB Weld or so, I didn't know. I had just some ideas. So I did a little research and found out that uh, it's actually quite common for these things to get holes in them, usually during shipping. And there are uh, some nice little kits that you can buy to do plastic welding and, and uh, fix the holes. So what we've got here is we've got a nice uh, gouge scrape. I've cleaned it out a little bit already but uh, there's a hole right there that goes all the way in and then you got this deep gouge so we're gonna just kind of fill this in so I started out with uh, just a battery power drill and I've got a uh, uh, file bit bullet shaped file bit on it and so just kind of going along and cleaning out that gouge and really roughing it up a little bit as well so that uh, the weld material will stick to it and uh, and we've got like this plastic here cleaned off so we've got a good surface to start with and we're just going to uh, fill in the gouge a little bit and uh, definitely patch up this hole so right now what we're doing we've got a our iron so this is like a soldering iron it's got a spoon tip on it and it's a uh, 200 watt iron so we're just heating that up with the generator right now while we get that hole prepped and, and ready to go so we'll see how this works here you can see the actual hole in the tank from the inside and this is the actual kit that we bought you can find it on Amazon or other places okay so we've got our iron I believe it's hot we'll kind of give it a little test here just to see and touching it yes it's definitely uh, melting the plastic we've got this filler rod this is uh, the same EP, DME, whatever plastic that these tanks are made out of. Doesn't matter what kind of tank you got. If you got the white plastic tank or the green plastic tank, they make this stuff in all this, the, the colors and uh, make it specifically for these tanks. But believe it or not, this plastic is the same as like the black plastic on your uh, car bumpers and things like that. Uh, so it's a pretty common plastic and they make these repair kits for all of them. Uh, there was a specific repair kit out there for these tanks. It was about $129 for the kit. I found one that was the same iron, which is what I cared about. And uh, it was for repairing a bumper. And it was only like, uh, I think, 50 or 60 bucks. So I bought that one. And then just to be sure I had the right kind of plastic, I went to the place that, that for the water tank stuff and bought some of this plastic stuff. And then I compared the two and it's the same, but I just wanted to be sure that I had uh, what I needed. It was only like five bucks to get some extra fill stuff. So I guess I got enough to repair lots of uh, water tanks now for the future. So I'll just uh, keep buying broken water tanks so I can store lots of water, I guess. So. Uh, I guess we'll start up here and just kind of give it a test to uh, kind of get the feel of it before we get into repairing the actual uh, hole. We'll just kind of spoon that out and add some to it and and it's it's melting right in there that actually uh, works pretty darn good. I'm surprised how easy it is. kind of heating up the plastic a little bit and then using this filler to come in behind and 
fill in that gouge. And this stuff sticks quite well, so it's adhering to the source real well, or to the part we're repairing. I gotta say, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be, and I honestly believe this is something that anybody could do. Now they do sell one of these kits at Harbor Freight, but what I noticed about the, the iron is I think it was only like 80 watts. So this is a 200 watt iron, and believe it or not, I mean I can feel it uh, cooling down a little bit just doing this small repair. So I'm not sure how that 80 watt iron would work. It's filling in quite nicely. Now in order to give this strength, they've got some screen that they provide with it. So we're going to cut us a piece of screen and uh, I'm going to let this iron heat up a little bit more. And then we're going to cut us a little piece of screen to go over the top of this and we're going to basically weld the screen into it as reinforcement and then we'll cover it some more with the uh, filler and when we're done we should have a really strong weld. And you know this was just a little holes but they say you can do big holes as well and uh, you know from what I'm seeing here I believe it would work just fine. Okay, so here's our screen. Uh, we're just really going to cut a piece here to kind of uh, cover up what we've done. And I've just got a pair of scissors here, which they used to give away free at Harbor Freight, but I haven't seen them free for a long time. I think now they're about 79 cents on sale. So. They're great scissors to have around for doing stuff like this that you don't care if you break them, tear them up, make them dull, whatever. And they cut pretty good. The camera crapped out on us, but the process was really easy. We melted the screen into the fill and then did another coat over it. And here's the finished product. Came out perfect. Holds water. No issues. Thanks for watching. God bless and subscribe, please.